challenged when we came to Grace to be giving people. We learned that it didn't just have to be money, it needed to be our time and our talents and you know that all these things that we have, you know, every every dollar that we have, every breath we take is the Lord's. And um, so we were challenged to be to be generous, um, to be generous givers. What is giving to the church mean to Braden Turnage? It helps people that don't get that stuff, that can't afford to, or are in a country that they can't get it. So we're helping other people by giving. Do you yes. feel like it's important to give? Yes. I recently started helping with English as a New Language um, here at Grace on Monday nights. It's really awesome to see these people coming in from different cultures. Um, and seeing them start to grasp the language and like understand, I can relate to that so much because I was at that place where I was trying to understand Spanish. And it's really frustrating <laughs> to learn a new language. So to be a part of that has been awesome. There's so many different ways that, that you can give. You can give of your time. You can have a family. Say you want to get to know a family at the church or somebody better, or even a neighbor, have them into your home. Keep less, give more. Whether it's your time, keep less of the time to yourself and give more of the time to others, or whether it's of your gifts, you know, whatever you're gifted at, keep you know, less of it for yourself and give it to others, or if it's your money, keep, I, I can certainly live off a lot less and give more to God's kingdom. When I look back, I never, um, I can never imagine that I would be where I am. You know, it's it's amazing. I don't I don't know how God did it, but he's he's done it and he's worked in me a lot and he's um, changed me. And that's what I want for other people, you know. And I um, I think a lot of us when we go to school, we can be scared and um, frightened, you know, of what people may think of us when we talk about Jesus or um, things like that, but in reality, I mean, should we really be scared because that's what we're living for, right? Nothing I have is from me anyways or from my husband. It's all from the hand of God. And if it's all from the hand of God, shouldn't I think about using it all for His glory? I mean, yes, we have a house. Yes, we have cars. Um, but as we start to think about these things and it convicts us to give more, then we should be thinking, how am I going to give more?